Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In this episode I'm going to show you how you can hide uh, one or more vehicles on your train. Um, well, first off, uh, we're going to be using the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin for this. If you don't know where to find that, uh, just go to the website openrt2plugins.org and then in the search just type um, Ride and then here you can find the Ride Vehicle Editor. It's a plugin made by uh, Bussy, and uh, I uh, love it, and it's a really useful uh, plugin for the game. So, uh, yeah, here you can see the features of the game. It has recently been updated to version uh, 1.1, which adds some new uh, functionality uh, to it, uh, like adding uh, settings to uh, all vehicles after the current vehicle. Well, uh, basically, it just uh, will save you a lot of time if you want to do uh, the same changes on a lot of vehicles. Anyway, if you want the plugin, just click Get Plugin here, and it will take you to this uh, GitHub page. And then here um, on the bottom, you can see Assets. Here you can uh, download the Ride Vehicle Editor version 1.1. Then you get a zip file. Um, then uh, after you've downloaded the zip file, just go to your Documents slash openrc 2 slash Plugin uh, folder. There you put the JavaScript file that's in the zip file. It's called Ride Vehicle Editor.js. And when you've done that, um, you can start up the game. And then here, um, under the map icon, you just hold it. And then here you can see Edit Ride Vehicles. And here you can see the interface of the Ride Vehicle Editor. Okay, um, that was just a little explanation on how to get this uh, plugin. Uh, well, for, the, for this tutorial, what I want to do is uh, take one of these Hyper Twister Coaster uh, cars. Uh, I want to make it look like the tr train of an Infinity Coaster. So basically that's a, uh, that's a train with the, which has uh, four across seating with lap bars. Just like the Hyper Twister uh, trains do. But I don't want this front vehicle to show. So for that um, let's just build a very silly and quick design. Okay, here's our awesome design. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pause the game and then put the ride in test mode. And what that does is it uh, spawns the vehicle. But of course it now just stays in place. Uh, it doesn't actually move. So um, as you can see this uh, train has uh, seven cars per train. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's actually also this nose piece, which is a separate car, but it doesn't count that. So there's actually eight cars uh, per train. Now, um, I don't want this fr front piece to show. Uh, I want it to uh, be uh, invisible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin. Um, so here already the correct ride is selected, Hyper Twister 1. Uh, vehicle 1 is selected. Uh, you can see the, uh, the variant of... Uh, vehicle 1 or vehicle 1 is variant 1 the vehicle 2 is variant 0 and all the other trains are variant 0 now um, basically a variant is a it's a it's yeah just a variant of car so for example these cars with seats they're all zero and the nose piece it's variant uh, 1 you will see on all coasters are all uh, attractions that have different car types uh, or all coasters have a different front car or even a different back car. You can see they have different variants. So uh, yeah, what what one thing we can easily do is just change the front car into. Um, so let's just make sure vehicle one is selected. So let's just change that to variant zero. As you can see, it now gets four seats, um, and now the train has uh, eight cars actually. And the front car is now also one with that has seats. So if you now unpause the game, the train will just continue the track like usual, except without the nose piece because we turned that into a different uh, variant. Okay, there's uh, another way you can uh, hide vehicles. Um, well, obviously we didn't really hide the front uh, part of the train here. We actually changed it into a different variant. 
what you can do to actually hide it is uh, so we have hyper twister one selected vehicle one uh, what we can do to hide it is turn it into a maze and when you do that you can see it has zero seats uh, zero mass you can actually give it mass if you want it to and now we unpause the game and you can see the coast just runs and the front vehicle is now actually uh, invisible well um the vehicle is still there so the coaster will not stop uh, completely in the front of the station uh, it will stop where the first vehicle is which is now invisible so if we want this uh, yeah if we want the coaster to actually stop more to the front we just have to move the front vehicle which is now invisible backwards now um to make this a little bit easier for us so we can actually see what we are doing I'm going to turn it into a different vehicle. Let's just change it back to a. Yeah, let's change it back to a hyper twister. Oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, the white cars. So now you can see the, the vehicle is actually here again. And what we're going to do now is just move it back a little bit. Okay, now it's uh, moved more to the back. So now the front of the train is actually also in this spot. And then we change it back to a maze. Now we unpause the game, so the ride runs again. And it should now move uh, completely to the front of the station. Alright, as you can see it now uh, went completely to the front of the station. Because now the invisible front car of the train is actually uh, really here. Now, um, yeah, this is just to hide the front piece of this uh, of this train. Uh, if you despawn the train and then uh, open it again or test it again, then you have to do this trick again because uh, when you de when you respawn the train, it will uh, spawn like this again with the nose section. Now, uh, sometimes you might also want to um, uh, hide the last trains or the last vehicles on your train. Now, why would you want to do that? Uh, Let's just say you have made a shoestring and you could for example have three cars or four cars that are underground and that, that just are there to add weight to the coaster. Well, uh, normally you would have them run on an underground track and then when you look underground you can actually see them do their thing. If you actually want them to be invisible, um, but, well there, actually there's another good thing about this because if you do that um, you can actually just make the control track uh, above ground, just make the track invisible and then you, when you also have invisible vehicles uh, running on it, uh, it doesn't all have to be underground anymore. So um, if you want your last vehicles to be invisible, simply go to, uh, let's go to vehicle 8 and we change it into a maze. Now it normally has 680 mass, so we'll just remember that. Let's change it into a maze. Okay, now it's invisible and you can also give it a mass. Uh, if you do the times 100 here, uh, you give it more mass in one go. So now you inc in increment it by 100. That could be useful. Okay, so now the last vehicle is uh, invisible. It has zero seats, so no guests will be on it, but it's still quite heavy. And that can be useful when uh, shoe stringing, when you want your other track or your other car to uh, uh, influenced the behavior of the front of the train. So we could also make uh, vehicle 7 invisible. Then we simply change it into a maze. We uh, add some mass to it. Not necessary, but you could do that. Um. And that's it. Yeah, so this is uh, how you make your uh, vehicles of your train invisible and also how you hide the nose piece of your uh, train. Alright, I hope this tutorial is useful for you. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. Yeah.